quickly. Ichi Nojo 3 and 1, Miyogi Do. Share of the lead with four straight victories. Well, the edge in the rivalry does favour Miyogi Do quite heavily, and he's won the last two times they've met. Showing real speed in his touchy eye. As is this man, certainly has picked up the pace in the last nine months or so. Fast away is the big man. Did you know Joe trying to slap and pour at Miyogi Do? Gets taken back, gets taken to the edge, and gets taken out. Frenetic sumo by both men. But the winner is Miyogi Do, and he stays perfect. A 5 0 start for the Migas Shooter 4. He'll stay atop of the leaderboard. At the end of the day, Ichinojo drops to 3 and 2. It was a bit scrappy. The slap missed. Miyogiru closes the eyes, gets inside quickly, takes Ichinojo back. He tries a slap down here. Ichinojo stands up and once again gets inside, deflected there, but does recover. And now Ichinojo is pulled forward and pulled by the side, taken to the left and right. Stepping to the right is Miyogiru. He gets in and under with a Morozashi and takes Ichinojo over the Tawada. Endo and Shimano Umi. Endo with his calf injury picked up his first win yesterday. Both men one and three. Fast away Endo. Attacks from the left and takes out Shimonumi very quickly. Shimonumi looked to be troubled there with the right knee. Endo with the left calf, but he still wins. And he wins by Yorikiri. Back-to-back -back wins for him to go two and three. One and four Shimonumi. One of the men displaying really good sumo so far is Takayasu at three and one, takes on Kiribayama, who's two and two. They have met twice before, and this man's won both of them. Can he put himself in the Yusho race? Kiribayama, he wants the left hand inside. What tactic today will Takayasu employ? Fast away. Pouring away, goes forward and beautifully worked. As he picks up a lovely thrust out win. Skidashi for Takayasu. That takes him to four and one. Kiribayama drops to two and three. So, wondering what the plan was going to be for Takayasu today. Slap down attempt there going backwards. Not a good move by Kiribayama. Takayasu makes the most of it, then starts the thrusting attack, putting all his pressure. Classic thrusting to win by Skidashi. Daisho takes on Mitakeyumi. Well, can the Komasubi on the left pick up his first win of the Basho? The other Komasubi. Mitakeyumi going fairly nicely at three and one. What Daesho has won the last three times they've met, but Mitakeyumi does has the overall edge. Good start, almost slipped there, Daesho, but he follows through with excellent pushing. And he wins by Oshidashi. There's win number one for the January tournament winner. Picks up his first win on day five, drops Mitakeyumi to three and two. We know he can do it. And a popular win with the crowd at the Kokukikan. He almost slipped here, appeared to slip there, but he basically got held up by the chest of Mitakeyumi. And now he starts his pushing and thrusting attack. It moves forward well to beat Mitakeyumi, the fellow Komasubi today. It's Takara Fuji and Takanosho. Man on the left looking for his first win as well. 
takes on three and one Takanosho. Takanosho, the Sekiwake, has beaten Takata Fuji the last three what times they've met. Takata Fuji won the first time they met. Big hit by Takanosho taking Takata Fuji back. He just tries to fend off from the elbows, but it's all Takanosho. He wins by Oshidashi. Pick up win number four. Still winless is Takata Fuji. Confident sumo by the Sekiwake today. All defensive work by Takata Fuji. Takata Fuji gets taken back and he tries to block with the forearms. Hazuoshi under the armpit by Takanosho stands Takata Fuji high and eventually he's pushed out. A little bit of head work there as well. Now the bout of the day that most people have been looking forward to, Teruna Fuji and Onosho. There's the history between the two, and surprisingly, Onosho has the edge in their head-to-head. -head. Let's have a look at January. Miss with the outside, thrusts away Onosho. As Teruna Fuji going back, he's got a double inside grip takes him to the edge and takes him out. That was January. So he needs to do more of the same today. See if he can get an inside position. Stand Teruna Fuji high and back. And make sure he doesn't move left or right. So Teruna Fuji looking to stay undefeated. Uh, false start. Teruna Fuji doesn't agree. Amajiro says... Uh, Get the fist down. You're not too happy about that, but anyway. Have you got him down then either? Straight away, in and under is Onosho. Same as the last tournament. And has Teruno Fuji in trouble, who's trying to twist away, trying to throw attempt, and out goes Teruno Fuji. Onosho hands the first loss of the tournament to Teruno Fuji. Onosho picks up his first win on the dojo. Previous win was a Fusensho. And maintains that small dominance over Teruno Fuji. They've met five times now and he's won four of them. Not inside straight away, but there it's a Morizashi, double inside grip. This is what he did to him last time. Now he's got a Bit more lateral movement today, Teruno Fuji, trying to twist away like he did yesterday against Meise. He can't pull off the throw. The arms are way higher, and Onosho wins at the edge. Disappointment for the Sekiwake. Now Shodai and Wakataka Kage. Shodai two and two. Looking to lack confidence. They've only met once before. He did win. He needs to move forward strongly, Shodai. He's pulling the shoulders back at the touchy eye. He does it again today. Charges into Wakatakakage, who gets an inside grip with the right. Now he moves forward and takes him out. Wakatakakage has now beaten the two Ozeki he's met. He beat Takakesho for his only win. And now win number two is another Ozeki Shodai. And that drops him to two and three. Massive result for the Maiga Shida two. Well, early pressure from Shodai. There's that stand-up Tachiai. But he does move forward. Hand placement is okay. He gets the right in, and he moves forward well, but not with enough urgency. He gets an outside grip briefly, but as he pulls here, he basically pulls Wakataka Kage into his own chest. Not good sumo from Shodai, but a great result for Wakataka Kage. It's Takakesho and Hokuto Fuji. 
Takakesho at three and one. He's only lost to Wakataka Kage. Okuto Fuji bloodied yesterday and the, just above the eye. And he's done well. He has a win already over an Ozeki. Can he make it another one here? Good hit, both men thrusting away. Takakesho moves forward well. Retreating is Hokuto Fuji, moving to his right. Now he rallies back. Now he starts to take Takakesho out and high, and he's down he goes. Oshi Taoshi win for Hokuto Fuji. Unfortunately, open up that cut with a headbutt to Takakesho. A loss. So that's back to back Ozeki losses in this tournament today. Shodai, now Takakesho. And Hokuto Fuji beats another Ozeki. <laughs> the sights and sounds of rapid sumo. Now the final bout here on day five. Meisei takes on Ozeki Asanoyama. Well, can Asanoyama find some Ozeki pride here and stop this streak of Ozeki losing? He's got a good history against Meisei. They've met five times. He's won four of them. He won at the edge yesterday. Meisei troubled Terano Fuji. In quickly is Meisei blocked. Left and right. Asanoyama gets his favorite grip. Left hand out, right hand in. And he wins by Yorikiri. And that's Asanoyama's sumo at its best. They say tried twisting of the hips but couldn't escape. So Asanoyama does hold the Ozeki pride intact. And he ends the day with a win to take him to four and one. That's the sumo that we saw Asanoyama make his way to Ozeki, and he did it again today. We have an interesting leaderboard with a Magus shoot of four now leading the way. Yep, Miyogiru, followed by Asanoyama, Terano Fuji, Takanosho, Takayasu, and three more. Come back tomorrow for more Grand Sumo Highlights. Bye for now.